what's up everybody twitch and youtube i'm live streaming on twitch twitch this is the second time you're seeing me because apparently um there's like three levels to uh to your recordings on obs the first one my videos came out to be like 100 megabytes and then there was like 300 megabytes and then there was like 800 megabytes that's in terms of quality like in like video quality and so those are like this the small medium and, and large so at the 800 I was like you know what I don't mind it being like like 1.6 gigabytes because of the, the largest like the extreme quality or whatever it said extreme file size or whatever but I underestimated it it was 35 gigabytes so yeah I mean, that's gonna take forever to upload 35 gigabytes that won't even go onto my MacBook to edit to be honest because I only have like seven gigabytes left it's one of those little cheap ones so at the least amount of storage possible but I did a, it was like a 30 minute video. This one's just gonna be a little short one. So, every time I'm getting closer and closer to my, to the settings that I want. Uh, for today, let's see. I'll do, you know what, I'll do three. I'll do like three, three lessons. All right, let's see. No and all should be left blank. Notice how the, the the later the lessons are, the bigger the paragraphs are, the more wordy they are. In the last challenge, you learned about um, including an all attribute when using image. Sometimes didn't I do this already? Uh -huh. Or use for decoration in these? Yeah, I did do this. It was all. I did this. That's why I gotta be checking because sometimes I don't save. Okay, that one saved. Alright. Use headings to show hierarchical relationships of content. Let me skim through this because screen readers, bada bing, bada boom. This is helpful actually. Um, but in rare occasions, it's like uh, when you have, uh, like on iPhones, you can uh, you can have Siri read you the text, and I believe based on the, the sizes, it'll, it'll read differently. That's, Basically, what it's saying on your screen readers can be set to read only the headings and this and that. So it just depends on the sizes. Semantic meaning. If you were writing the paper you know, with an introduction, headings with equal or higher range start. Amplify sections. Headings with the lower and start subsections and an example. One final. I can't forget once a page on his site dedicated to the becoming to becoming a ninja. Okay. Help him fix the headings so his markup gives semantic meaning to the content. See, it shows the proper franchise. Change all the H5 tags to the proper heading level to indicate they are subsections of H2 ones. Use H3 tags for the purpose. So, I, so this one's like super simple. So all you gotta do is just change the H5 to an H3. So literally, that's it. I don't know if it wants us to do all of them. 
all the all the H fives. I throw them in the top one. All the H fives. Jump straight to the content using the main element. Introducing a number of new elements that give uh, developers more options. I've seen a lot of people use main, header, footer is the one that I, that I was using right now. But I don't see a lot of people using it. They use div. But I don't know. I guess it depends on the user. Nav, I've used that one. And my other one and section. Okay. Um, by default, a browser renders these elements similarly to the humble div. However, using them where appropriate gives additional meaning. I'll check something like that. Take this one off. We don't need it right now. Capricat has some big ideas for his ninja weapons page. Help him set up his markup by adding opening and closing main tags between the header and footer. Covered and keep the main tags empty for now. So this is again this is very simple. All you gotta do is start me. Another one says horizontal or or like the header, I don't know if it wants it like that, or like this, but let's just throw them like that. Alright, and then my last one. Accessibility, applied accessibility, wrap content in the article element. Article is another one of the new HTML elements that adds semantic meaning to your marker. Article section, I'm gonna look at the, let's see what this one is gonna do. Camper Cat used article tags to wrap the post. Um, article. Yeah, I don't see a lot of people using article, but I, I'm thinking that's more for blogs. Um, people really don't use blogs that I've seen. People really don't use blogs that much. They use. They, they do blogs, but they use like Squarespace, um, Wix, WordPress. Hampercat used article tags to wrap the posts to wrap the posts on on this blog page. But he forgot to use them around the top one. What do you mean the top one? Around div. Or in, instead of div. Change the div to an article. An article is for standalone content and an uh, and the section is for grouping thematically related content. You don't use section. Oh, it is a section. No, okay, so groups, independent, self-contained content. Not too sure what that means. Defeating your foe. I guess when it's part of. Part of it, it's a part of a theme. So like in this case, it's like a how to or whatever. Article. Oh, whoops. Article. Mm, that should be good. No? Did I spell it wrong? Article. Article. I save it. I save it. Run. Run. Alright. Done now. Let's see. Let's see what we got over here. We should save. Alright, we're good. Good to go. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing more designing. 
than other work that I usually do. Today is today and yesterday. It's eleven. I usually got to take a shower by eleven forty-five, so hopefully I'm done. This Mac is really slow. It's not getting the new update. How many gigabytes do you want? I literally only have like seven gigabytes open. But it wants. Let me check real quick for me to update. Update now. So it'll take a little bit just to check, and then it'll tell me no. You need this much space. But meanwhile, oh, it's it's going already. Downloading. Should be in a few. Seventeen gigabytes. Honestly, the updates aren't that big. They're like three gigabytes, but it wants seventeen. Just I don't know. I guess just for space, which gets me to think like, if you're ever gonna buy a MacBook, they do this because they know it's gonna happen, bro. But I don't know, bro. Buy it, buy it with extra storage, and yeah, they they know they're gonna charge you extra. Oh well. Yes, my my extra storage. But I'm gonna leave it with that. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.